Hello everyone, I'm Nikete. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Groupline. Our mission is to augment human cooperation with LLMs. And our team uh, has met uh, throughout our careers working on machine learning and mechanism design. Um, a lot of us had a macro on, on MEV on the, on the incentive side. Um, and we did a lot of our PhDs in machine learning. And the, the core thesis of the company is that in groups, incentives really matter. And introducing LLMs into group decisions is going to change those incentives. And so you want to design the LLMs with those incentives in mind. Um, we can say this in, in game theoretic terms, in terms of that an LLM that's used to allocate uh, something that people care about is inducing a mechanism. Um, so alignment in this case is the incentive compatibility between the LLM and the objective of the group. Um, so one example of a place where an LLM can work is a lot of groups work around advisors, coaches, accountants, lawyers, doctors. And in reality, these advisors are expensive, they're hard to schedule, and they might not be available when you want them. Um, now we can, with LLMs, we can emulate these advisors. Um, and then the question is, when there's a million different implementations of a potential advisor, which is the right one to use? Um, how do we trust that that emulation is going to really respect who that advisor is and not be like, have a back door that is benefiting one of the people in the group that selected that LLM, for example, or the people that trained that LLM. Um, and so to test out this series, we're starting by building um, two related products. One of them are bots that act as Solomonic oracles, emulations of public figures that are trusted by people in the group. They might be accountants or advisors or lawyers or judges and that the group can coordinate around them. And these bots are backed in the, in the back end, not by a specific LLM instance, but instead by a market mechanism, where you're buying that emulation um, from bidders, and those bidders' payoffs depend not on how much you use the emulation, but how well those emulations work in terms of predicting future public comments by the people that they are emulating. So this gives us a way of having credibility um, that that emulation is really faithful, is really high fidelity um, to the person that's being tried to emulate. So this allows people in the group um, to trust that emulator. Um, and these highest fidelity emulations, they're natural focal points for coordination. We can all trust it, and this marketplace is what ensuring that you are always getting the high fidelity emulation. Um, and so the, we have one of these emulations of a, of a very famous um, startup investor and, and thought leader, uh, PG, and we work with it all the time on, on, our, on our Discord, and we ask it things like what I should tell you today, and what happens in the background is that these messages are going into the marketplace, we run a seller in the marketplace that, 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 has, a, that has a PG emulation that it's willing to provide, and then an order gets filled, and um, then I get an answer on the Discord bot from the, from the emulation that, um, that won that procurement auction. Um, and one interesting thing about having these high fidelity emulations versus an emulation that had been trained to please an individual user is that they often do things that would make the individual user very uncomfortable. Um, so when you train them one-on-one, -on -one, the user might not enjoy the emulation, like giving it pushback, for example, but it might be very important for the group um, to coordinate on one of the members of the group is not being particularly reasonable um, to get that pushback. And it, the pushback can be kind of savage. Uh, <laughs> so when we told it that we were going to talk about a market for emulations, it, it pointed out the many ways in which this idea didn't seem like a particularly good idea. And so one of the very confusing things about the talk that I'm giving you right now is that there's this two product, right? Because we're trying to bootstrap a two-sided marketplace where we need buyers and sellers of these LLM agents. We're starting with a specific set of those LLM agents, which are the emulations. Um, so this is a specific kind of agent that has specific tooling that we can build around that use case, and that creates demand and supply for the marketplace, right? So we're both willing to buy good emulations and we'd like to talk to the ones of you that have ideas of what emulations you might like to buy. And we can also provide uh, good emulations. And we would like to talk to those of you who can provide better emulations. We do not want to be a, an emulations company. Um, and so our roadmap going ahead is going to um, first, uh, we're going to launch uh, our current prototype, which is the LLM agent market. 
And this is a black boxed marketplace where you basically, the developer provides an endpoint to an emulator um, that's responding to a specific buy order that was placed. And we don't really get a lot of visibility as a marketplace into what, how exactly they're doing that. Um, this combines very well with like the closed source models um, like those of OpenAI, for example. And then we are going to um, have a further market um, that allows um, the sellers to not just provide us um, a single uh, black box endpoint, but actually um, allows them to give us uh, guidance programs, so this um, templating language. Um, and this means that in the background we can do all sorts of interesting um, combinatorial mechanisms where we can find complementarities between different providers. So some of them might be providing better data, some of them might be providing better reasoning capacity, some of them might have better backend LLMs. Um, and we will also be releasing um, a, a framework for allowing groups um, on, on a chat to, to, uh, to come to a common understanding about what their objectives are and then to check um, if that common understanding um, is being captured um, by the LLMs. And, if you ha and so it's very important that you talk to us or we're very keen to talk to people, not, not just uh, investors, but if, if in your portfolio companies, um, you have companies that have an LLM that's driving revenue and they're having a hard time uh, hiring uh, people to improve those LLMs or they're not sure if the people that they're hiring to improve those LLMs are any good, uh, we would be very, very happy um, to, to have some, some early customers and, and we're willing to do a lot of work um, for you uh, to, to, to bootstrap this marketplace. So there's a big externality to the marketplace from the initial buyers and sellers and we're very happy to, to subsidize that. And if you're good at writing prompts and you don't like, uh, or you know people that might be good at writing prompts and don't wanna like have to keep track of all this infrastructure, um, then the guidance market might be very attractive to them. And um, if your group needs help with coordination and you think this kind of public figure emulation um, is something that could be useful to your groups, we would also uh, love to talk to you. Thank you very much for your time.